Imagine if a battery can run for more than 1,000 kilometers on a single charge, that too without being affected by cold, heat, or rough roads. This is not a dream. This is the reality of Toyota's new solid-state battery, which has created a stir in the entire EV industry. On one hand, Elon Musk and Tesla were making claims about their 4,680 cells, while on the other hand, Toyota was quietly writing history. Now, when its prototype came in front of everyone, Elon Musk himself was surprised because Tesla's 4,680 battery is nowhere in front of this technology. This is not just a battery, it is a revolution that can solve all three major issues of EV like range, charging time, and battery life in one go. Is this the end of Tesla's dominance? Will Elon Musk have to change his plans now? And is Toyota really going to become the new king of the EV world? The answer is yes, but it is very important to know the story and technology behind it. So, let's move ahead in the video. But before that, do Toyota EV Market subscribe to the channel so that you get the fastest and most accurate information on technology first. Before we get to know about Toyota's game-changing battery, let's take a look at Toyota's current EV market because the company that was once considered the king of petrol diesel cars is now showing its prowess in the world of electric vehicles as well. Yes, this is the same Toyota that first started the trend of hybrid vehicles with the Prius, but now it is also rapidly catching up in the race of EVs, i.e. fully electric cars. In 2023, Toyota sold around 1.5 lakh fully electric vehicles globally, which is about four times more than its EV sales of the previous year. While earlier the company's focus was mostly on hybrid technology, now it is rapidly shifting to full electric platforms. The special thing is that Toyota is no longer just making its own EVs, but it is also launching high-end EVs through its luxury brand Lexus, such as the Lexus RZ and UX300e. Toyota says it is targeting to sell more than 1.5 million EVs every year by 2026. And to achieve this, the company has taken several major steps like building separate EV factories in Japan, the US, and Europe, focusing on solid-state batteries, and developing a new EV platform that it is launching under the name BZD, Beyond Zero. Toyota is constantly improving when it comes to EV batteries. While earlier Toyota's batteries were a bit behind other companies, now new generation lithium and solid state batteries are becoming the company's biggest strength. Toyota's battery research division is now active not only in Japan, but also in the US and Germany. The company has publicly said that it will start mass production with solid state batteries by 2027 or 2028. The most interesting thing about this new journey of Toyota is that while other companies have either got tired or are retreating after entering the EV market, Toyota is now entering quietly but is going to make a big bang in terms of both technology and scalability. What is a solid-state battery? Now that everyone is talking about EVs, you must have heard one name solid-state battery. But the real question is what is this solid-state battery and why is there so much commotion about it? Let us understand it in very simple language. Look, most of the electric vehicles running today use lithium-ion batteries. These batteries have been in vogue for the last several years and are used in everything from smartphones to laptops, scooters, and cars. But there is a big weakness in them. These batteries are a little fragile from inside. Why? Because they contain liquid electrolyte. This is a liquid that carries lithium ions from one electrode to another inside the battery. Now, when this liquid gets heated for some reason, leaks or comes under high pressure, the battery may explode, catch fire, or get damaged. You must have heard in the news many times the battery in an EV exploded or the phone was on charging and burned. At the root of this are these old liquid-based batteries. Solid-state battery is a very simple and sure solution to this problem. In this new technology, solid material is used inside the battery instead of liquid electrolyte. That is, the thing that moves the ions around inside is no longer a liquid, but a solid thing like a special kind of ceramic, polymer, or solid material like glass. Now, what is its advantage? The first and biggest advantage, safety. The risk of fire or explosion in a solid-state battery is almost eliminated because there is no liquid in it. There will be no leak. No reaction will spread rapidly and the battery can withstand high temperature. That is, it is considered a completely explosion-proof and ultra-safe battery. The second big advantage is the energy density of the battery. This means how far the battery can run on a single charge. Solid-state batteries store energy better, meaning the car can travel 1.000m 
1,600 plus km on a single charge instead of 400 to 500 kilometers. And the charging time that too is very less. New solid state batteries can be fully charged in 10 to 15 minutes. Third advantage, battery life. Usually, lithium ion batteries start to weaken after 1,000 to 1,500 charge cycles, but solid state batteries can last for thousands of cycles without losing performance. This means that an EV fitted with a solid state battery will run for years without needing to replace the battery. Fourth advantage, environment friendly. These batteries are more durable, recycling is easy, and the materials used in them are also considered more sustainable in modern times. Now the question arises, what is the problem in this? Or why are they not being installed everywhere yet? Actually, making solid-state batteries is currently very expensive and technically a bit difficult. Their manufacturing process is new. Special material is required and making them in large quantities is still a challenge for companies. But big companies like Toyota, Samsung, QuantumScape are now working fast on this. Toyota has claimed that by 2027 to 2028, it will launch such batteries in the market which will give a range of 1.000M and will be fully charged in 10 minutes. If this happens, then a new revolution will come in the EV industry. Now you must be wondering why a company like Tesla is not moving to solid state. Actually, Elon Musk himself had said that solid state is a very complex technology and currently his team is focusing on 4,680 cells. But since Toyota and other companies have accelerated work on solid state, now the pressure on Tesla has also increased. When it comes to electric cars, the first question that comes to mind is how powerful is the battery? How far will it run? How quickly will it charge? And most importantly, how many years will it last? To answer all these questions, Tesla introduced its 4680 battery a few years ago, which was considered a big step in EV battery technology. The name 4680 was given because the diameter of the cell is 46 millimeters and length is 80 millimeters. This battery was bigger than before, gave more power and Tesla claimed that due to this the range of the vehicle will also increase and the production cost will also be reduced. It used a technology called tableless design which makes the current flow faster and less heat is generated. Tesla has started implementing it slowly in its vehicles like Cybertruck Model Y. But now that Toyota is bringing its solid-state battery, it seems that Tesla's 4680 technology is becoming outdated. The entire EV industry is surprised to see Toyota's solid-state battery because its range is about 1,000 miles, i.e. up to 1,600 kilometers, and the charging time is just 10 minutes. That means one can travel from Delhi to Mumbai and even a little further on a single charge. That too without stopping and the hassle of charging again and again. On the other hand, Tesla's 4680 battery still gives a range of about 600 to 700 kilometers and takes 25 to 30 minutes to charge, that too with a fast charger. The most special thing about solid-state battery is that it does not contain liquid electrolyte due to which incidents like fire or overheating do not occur. Tesla's 4680 still has liquid-based electrolyte due to which the safety risk is not completely eliminated. Now talking about the battery life, Toyota's solid-state battery does not show any drop in performance even after thousands of charging cycles, while the performance of 4,680 batteries starts falling a little with time. Apart from this, solid-state batteries give the same efficiency in every weather whether it is minus 20 degrees snowfall or 50 degrees heat. On the other hand, 4,680 cells need protection in very cold or very hot places, which can affect the long-term performance of the battery. In fact, Tesla's 4680 battery was quite innovative for that time. But now, when brands like Toyota are moving towards practical success in solid-state technology, it can be a warning bell for Tesla. Elon Musk himself has considered solid-state to be very difficult and complex, so he has not paid much attention to it till now. But if by 2027 Toyota brings its solid-state battery into mass production and sells vehicles at the same price as today's EVs, then Tesla's technology will be considered old. As of today, Toyota's battery seems to be better than Tesla's 4680 in every aspect. Range, charging speed, safety, durability, and efficiency. In such a situation, the biggest question now is whether Tesla is getting left behind. The EV market is changing rapidly and to survive in it, not just the name or brand, but constant updates in technology are also necessary. If Tesla does not introduce any new battery innovation in time, 
then companies like Toyota with solid-state batteries can overtake it. Now, it will be interesting to see what steps Elon Musk takes next. Will he start working on solid state or will he bring some completely new technology that changes the game again? But one thing is certain in this battery race. Whoever comes first with fast, safe and cheap technology will become the next king of the EV world. In the phase that the EV industry is going through today, solid state batteries are emerging as a revolution that is not only making vehicles better but is also going to change the entire EV system. Till now, the biggest concern about EVs was charging infrastructure. People used to think that if charging stations are not everywhere, then how will they travel long distances? Because of this, many people were hesitant to buy EVs. But with the advent of solid-state batteries, this problem is going to end automatically. Because the most special thing about these batteries is that they get fully charged in just 10 to 15 minutes, and once fully charged, they can run for 1,000m, i.e. about 1,600 kilometers. Now think when a vehicle can travel such a long distance, then what will be the need for a charging station every 100 to 200 kilometers? This will reduce the heavy pressure on governments and companies to create charging infrastructure to a great extent. Till now, the EV industry was forced to build large fast charging networks because the batteries either charged slowly or could not run for long distances in one go. But solid-state batteries solve both these problems together. Now, if someone stops at a charging station for even 10 minutes, his car can run for a whole week instead of a day. This means that charging stations will no longer be needed in every street and locality like before. Rather, a smaller number will suffice. This will make EV infrastructure cheaper and easier, and the use of EV will increase even in rural or remote areas. Apart from this, one very big and important thing that solid-state batteries are changing is safety. Most of the current EV batteries are based on lithium-ion technology which contains liquid electrolyte inside. This liquid can react when there is excessive heat, shock, or physical damage which can lead to a fire or battery explosion. You must have read in the news that some EV scooters or cars caught fire. And this fear became the biggest reason to keep people away from EVs. But such a risk is almost negligible in solid-state batteries because instead of liquid, it contains a special kind of solid material that resists heat and controls chemical reactions. This means that EVs will now become many times safer than before. Not only will the common people feel attracted towards EVs, but insurance companies, government regulatory agencies, and the transport sector will also accept EVs more openly. From the fire department to road safety agencies, no one will have to worry much about EV safety. Now, it is also worth noting that solid-state batteries are more compact and lightweight, which reduces the weight of the vehicle and improves its performance and efficiency. So it is clear that solid-state is not just a battery technology. It can become the backbone of the EV world. On one hand, this will reduce the need for charging stations, and on the other hand, power consumption and load will also remain under control because the charging time will be short. On the other hand, it will also get rid of accidents like fire and people's trust in EV will become stronger. As this technology comes into the market, we will see that a new wave has begun in the EV industry. A wave that will not only change the roads but also our thinking in future. Solid state battery is not just a tech update but the next chapter in the world of EV. And now the time is not far when we will all see its power with our own eyes. The solid-state battery that Toyota is in the news for today is not a minor technology but a kind of revolution for the EV industry. Now the question arises that when will this battery be seen in the vehicles of common people? So you will be happy to know that Toyota itself has announced that it is preparing to bring the solid-state battery to the market by the year 2027 or 2028. That is, the day is not far when we will see EV cars running on the roads that charge in 10 minutes and run for one, 000M. Currently, this battery is in the prototype stage and Toyota is preparing infrastructure all over the world for its large-scale production. Actually, the manufacturing of solid-state batteries is quite different from the current lithium-ion batteries. So, it requires a completely new factory, new robots, and high-tech production process. For this reason, Toyota is now converting its plants into gigafactory style. Just like Tesla set up its huge gigapress and battery cell production units, the company is building special battery plants in Japan, America, and Europe that will make only solid-state batteries. The material, machines, and automation used in them will all be new and advanced. 
Now if we talk about which vehicles Toyota will use this battery in first then the company's strategy is that it will start with its premium segment. That is the solid state battery can first be seen in high-end electric cars like Lexus so that the company can test the technology in low volume and collect real world data. After this, as the production cost decreases and the system becomes stronger, Toyota will also start installing it in its BZ series, i.e. beyond zero mass EV cars. With this, this powerful battery will also be seen in mid-range vehicles, which will be a big deal for common customers. Toyota's aim is not just to make a premium EV, but to make an electric car that competes with petrol and diesel vehicles on every front. Range, charging time, safety, and reliability. The company's strategy is very clear. First, test the technology in high-end vehicles, then launch it on a large scale and reach every customer. For this entire mission, Toyota has invested more than $13 billion, which includes battery research, factory building, and supply chain development. The company's engineers say that with the rapid progress in the production of solid-state batteries, it is expected that by 2028, its cost will also decrease and it can be equal to or cheaper than lithium-ion batteries. And if this happens, it will prove to be a game-changer for the EV market. Toyota has also said that it is not dependent on any one country or team for battery research. Apart from Japan, its special teams are also working in America and Germany which are engaged in making solid-state batteries more durable, cheaper, and faster. The company's focus is not just on making batteries, but it is creating a complete EV ecosystem that covers everything from battery to charging system, motor, and electronic control. Now, when such a big preparation is going on, it would not be wrong to say that Toyota is not just making EVs, it is shaping the future of EVs. And when Toyota's first production vehicle with solid-state battery hits the roads in 2027 or 2028, it will not be just a new car, it will be proof that the world has now reached that point of EV technology where petrol and diesel have no future. That day, it will also become clear that only those companies that understand innovation in time will be able to survive, and Toyota is running in this race with full preparation. As soon as the news of Toyota's solid-state battery came out, the eyes of the whole world turned towards Tesla. Because now the question is not just about a technology but about Elon Musk's EV empire which he has built with years of hard work. The biggest strength of Tesla till now, its range, charging speed and advanced battery technology is now being questioned. The changes that are going to happen with the arrival of solid-state battery can directly affect Tesla's valuation, market trust and business model. Tesla is considered to be the world's most innovative auto company. But if any other company comes up with better technology than it, then the trust of investors can also be shaken. This trust in the stock market has taken Tesla's value to the sky. And if this trust is shaken, then the market value is sure to come down. Apart from this, Elon Musk now has another challenge in front of him. Top-level rivals like BYD and Toyota. BYD has already left Tesla behind in EV sales in many countries. And now a giant like Toyota has also announced through solid-state technology that it will not just sit back and watch. Especially when a company like Toyota says that it will bring a car with 1.000M range and 10 minutes of charging by 2027, then this is like an alarm bell for Tesla. Because right now Tesla's 4680 battery is able to give only 600 to 700 kilometers in range and charging takes up to 30 minutes. Now everyone wants to know what will be Elon's next move. Will he start working on solid state battery or will he surprise everyone again by bringing some new technology? It is certain that now Tesla cannot move forward by just relying on its existing technology. The world is changing rapidly and customers now want to buy EV with more expectations. Elon will either have to jump into the solid-state race himself or upgrade his 4680 battery to something that is better than Toyota and BYD. Because if Tesla doesn't innovate, it may slowly lose its tech leader tag. And this is what is the real identity of Tesla's brand, the we are ahead of everyone image. Now the game is not just about selling EVs but about winning trust with technology and Elon Musk will have to understand well that the technology that was ruling the market till yesterday may be outdated today. Therefore, it is important that Tesla now takes some big steps on its battery tech so that it can be seen at the forefront of the race again. If you also want to get such latest tech and EV updates first, then like the video and subscribe to the channel now so that the future does not remain one step behind. Thank you.